Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to lesson four, type one questions. So, we've done a warm up quiz so far, and we've had a look at the different question types in lesson two. Before we go on, we need to bear some things in mind. The pattern in set A will tend to be the, the inverse of the pattern in set B. For example, if set A had an even number of shapes per box, set B might have an odd number of shapes. Even if not, they're not an exact inverse, they will be related. So for example, set A might have double the number of black shapes than white shapes, and set B might have one more white shape than black shape. So even though this is not a direct inverse, this is still related to the same topic of colour. And each set will have six boxes, remember. The pattern in a set must apply to every single box bar none. This is an example question. So have a go at trying to work out the pattern for this question. For this question, the pattern in set A is that there's an even number of shapes, and the pattern in set B is that there's an odd number of shapes. Colour is a distractor in this particular question. So how do you answer the test shapes? For the previous slide, we didn't have any test shapes with the pattern, because for now, and during the course of most of these tutorials, we'll focus mainly on trying to find the pattern. But for the text boxes, as if the answer is A, it fits into set A, but not set B. If the answer is B, it should fit into set B, but not set A. The answer is C, if the test shape fits into neither A or B, or it fits into both. So, the medic mind method for abstract reasoning. Firstly, we tell you to ignore the test boxes. So, for verbal reasoning, we told you to, um, after reading the first two lines of the passage, we said go to the question. For quantitative, for certain questions, you should go to the um, question first, and for other questions, you should read the scenario first. For abstract reasoning, you should go to the questions last. Work out the pattern first, and that's the most important thing. Step two. Find the simplest box in set A and then compare it with either or both the simplest box in set B and the second simplest box in set A. Step 3. Identify the pattern in set A and set B by applying SPONKS, which is the list of all possible patterns which we'll come across in the next tutorial lesson. Step four, confirm that the pattern works for every box in each set, and five, answer the test questions. So, this is the pattern that we saw before. Set A has an even number of shapes, and set B has an odd number of shapes. Remember, step one, ignore the test boxes and look at the pattern first. Step two, Find the simplest box in set A and compare with either the simplest box in set B or the simpler, second simplest box in set A. Well, for some questions, it's better to compare between A and B from the forefront and work out the pattern that way. For other questions, it's better to work out the pattern in set A first and then work it out um, in B afterwards. For example, if the pattern was that set A had straight edged shapes and set B had curved shapes, it's quite difficult to work out the pattern by just looking at set A or just looking at set B. Instead, you might want to do a comparison. Whereas, if the pattern was in set A, there's always a triangle in every box, and in set B, there's always a circle in every box, it'd be very difficult to find the pattern by comparing A and B together. Instead, you'd work out the pattern for A first and then for B afterwards, or vice versa. Therefore, when you pick the simplest box in set A, 
have an open mind and compare it to set B, the simplest box in set B, and the second simplest box in set A at the same time. So this is what we covered before. If each box in set A has at least one triangle or one star, for example, you'll only spot this by comparing several set A boxes. If each box in set A has one more white shape than black shape, again, you'll only find it by comparing several set A boxes. And therefore, you look for set A and then set B. So, let's apply this to the previous question that we did with odd and even. So going back to the question here, just to have a look, you got set A and we have set B. So we're going to pick the simplest two boxes in set A and find the pattern in set A before we find the pattern in set B. So we've taken the top two, um, on, on the top of the slide, we've got the two set A boxes. So let's compare them. Well, they both have one white shape, one black shape. Okay, this is potential for a pattern. In terms of number, they both have two shapes. Again, potential. And in terms of shape, they both have straight sided shapes. Now, extending out to two more boxes in set A, color, the heart box means that a color pattern is gone because that heart box has only black shapes. The heart box also means that our straight sided shape pattern is gone. So that leaves us with just number. And now we've adjusted it to having an even number of shapes. Great. We found a pattern for set A, and it's very likely that the pattern is inverse odd number of shapes for set B. That was method one. Method two is looking for set A and B together. So we've taken the simplest box in set A and the simplest box in set B. Compare them. Firstly, let's look at color. A has one white and one black. B has one black. This isn't a great pattern because there isn't much of an inverse going on, but this still could be a possibility. Number. A has two shapes, B has one shape. Comparing an extra box in set A and an extra box in set B. Unfortunately, a colour pattern is swiped out, but the number pattern still remains as A has an even number of shapes and B has an odd number of shapes. So you can see how approaching quite a complicated set in a very simple step-by-step -step way can really make the question much easier than it might seem at first. Looking back at the question quickly, when you see one shape in a box, for example, we see that in set B in the middle left box, you should be on alert for an odd versus even pattern. And this is the box you should fixate on first. Often, you'll have a box with one shape and nearby another box with three shapes. And that's a big giveaway that it's an odd um, pattern for, for that particular set. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.